so here we are in the Amazon River but how did we get here that's gonna be another story first we have to talk about Mankora so now the waters of the great Amazon are taking us to Manaus the whole trip from Mukitas will last around six days and that gives us time to tell you about Mankara After 10 days in Chicama, one morning we found ourselves packing our tent and putting our small home on our backs again. But like always, our next dot on the map was still uncertain. Our plan to move towards the north took us to the next town called Pacasmayo. Initially we were thinking of staying here for a few days, but after walking around the city we just did not click with it and decided to buy a night bus ticket straight up to the warm and well-known paradise. Manka. So, we took a midnight bus from Pacasmayo, having another time of shaking dreams and around 9 in the morning we were in Mankora already. Driver just dropped us out on the road, giving around 4 minutes to grab our bags and leave the bus. We almost stayed inside actually, so you need to be really fast. Our first impression was, wow, do you see those palms? After the high mountains and the dry coast, bright green color was like a dream for us. The next thing we noticed was the heat. So we started to get out from all of our layers of clothes. And that was a moment of freedom. And now about Mankara itself. Where can you stay? As for us, we were planning to camp again. We had in mind some hostels that offer places for tent, but you know, our soundtrack of life is wind of change, so it didn't work like we planned. One place looked not really good with trash all around, and another one was really expensive, so again we were in the improvisation mode. We headed to the beach, thinking about tenting there, but first of all, locals told us that police wouldn't allow us to do so, and we also saw how tiny the beach line is when the, the tide is high. We continued to walk asking places about tenting, but beach is basically taken by pretty fancy places with swimming pools and gyms, so we were not their potential clients. But after some time we suddenly saw these colorful doors with bamboo cabanas, hammocks, palms and bright paintings everywhere behind them. And we immediately felt a good energy coming from this place and just went in. It was Misfits Hostel, where we stayed for an unexpected one month. The hostel manager Jaime greeted us with a big smile and a loud mix of Spanish, Portuguese and English. He showed us around and instead of a camping spot, he offered us an amazing room for the really low price for friends. We were incredibly grateful and happy to stay here, feeling ourselves surrounded by friends and positive vibrations. The hostel offers everything you will need for a budget-friendly stay with a well-equipped shared kitchen, clean bathrooms and shower areas and a very chilled common area. About accommodation in general, of course you can try to camp on the beach, but it can be a bit risky. In the end, the only tented people we saw were beggars from the city. There are some places that offer camping areas, but price-wise you can easily find a bed or even room for the same cost. There are a lot of variants to stay in Mankora for the different budgets, from cozy dorms to the luxury bungalows. The second variant you can book through any travel sites, and the budget-friendly places you can find just walking around and asking. Also, a lot of places offer volunteering for accommodation and food. In Mankora, you should be prepared for the loud music during the whole day and non-stop party that shake the walls but you always can find more quiet places and trust the farther wild beaches. Mankara is squeezed between a range of desert mountains and the Pacific Ocean. The Panamericana Highway cuts the town in the middle. One street toward inland and you own the market area with its noise, diversity and of course cheap prices. 
There is a big market inside of the two floors building, where you can get all the basic products you need in the good, fresh condition. On the second floor you can get cheap and nice breakfast or lunch. In the front of the market and from the sides there are streets with a lot of small shops that also have good offers. Just explore that area and you will find everything you need. The town itself is bright, fast and alive compared to the sleepy Chikama. There are a lot of restaurants for locals and tourists, shops with typical beach clothes, ice cream refreshing spots, cozy areas under the green trees where old men read their newspapers and even a casino. And every evening the coastline shakes because of the music and parties in the fancy tropical bars. But you still can find a place to enjoy the sunset in the peaceful atmosphere. We advise you to visit the lighthouse on the big hill. It is a free and easy to do adventure that opens for you an amazing view. If you are facing the ocean, towards the right side by the beach you can find a group of lakes with blooming trees around and packs of different birds, including flamingos. In the morning they fly very low, almost touching your head. One of the most exciting things we have done was swimming with the huge turtles. Walking by the beach to the left, after the surf point, there is a place with the orange platform in the water, where locals usually take tourists. Those tour guides basically just put the food into the water around, attracting the turtles for the easy lunch. To get to the platform and stay there you need to pay, but there is another option – swimming. You can easily swim closer to the platform and just dive around. Remember about bringing your mask and flippers. It didn't take us long to see our first turtles and even a sea lion. Firstly, we were screaming both because of the excitement and fear. Such huge creatures there! Just imagine that alien swimming straight to your face, looking at you with such serious, magnetic eyes. But then you understand how gentle and peaceful those ancient beings are. And you're just flying with them, taken by the harmony of the ocean life. During these weeks in Mankora, we were either surfing or observing the surf almost daily and we noticed some things. First and foremost, if there are waves, the point will be slightly to very crowded, going from 10 up to 30 people. This is a mix of all levels of surfers, from the most experienced to the very beginner taking up lessons of instructors. While surfing, we experienced a little bit of localism, when the locals stay in groups of five or six and try to dominate all the waves, dropping them while screaming MINE! MINE! in an attempt to scare off the unexperienced or not so confident surfers. At some point, you either put yourself in front and drop, or you will simply sit on your board and watch. Still, it is worth going through the crowds and try to drop some waves, for they are very mellow and easy to surf. And while waiting for waves, Appreciate the turtles coming up for air nearby, or the pelicans flying around. When we arrived, Mankra had a nice swell that stayed for the next 10 or so days, with waves varying from 1 to 2.1 meters. But all the waves were quite gentle despite their size, constant and well-timed between each series. This allowed us to surf to the shore and come back in without a lot of diving. So, from the side of the nature, Mankura provides you with really pleasant conditions to learn and have a lot of fun. In front of the point, there are at least three surf rental houses, one after another. They all seem to follow the same price range, 20 soles for one hour or 40 soles for the whole day. Haggling can easily get you a 30 soles price for the whole day though. Mankara definitely caught us. Warm, deep, blue and so welcoming ocean was washing our minds and souls three times per day. And kind people were sharing evening with us near the cozy bonfire. 
Mankara is a nest for the birds from all corners of the world, but with huge backs instead of the wings. It is a beautiful, bright community that can give you a shelter and amazing time. The weather here is constant warm the whole year with a bit of rains during the winter time, so you can easily come here whenever you hear the call. Enjoy and keep exploring! In our next video we will tell you about the way how to avoid planes to get to Brazil or Colombia from Peru, diving into an incredible atmosphere of the Amazon rainforest.